So you want to make money teaching private music lessons. These are the five things you absolutely have to do. Let's count them down. Number five, set up a room for it. Plan on your success. Plan on having students in your space. Get the instruments you need, get them set up, and have them ready for the lesson. In my case, I've got pianos and guitars and ukulele. I have two keyboard pianos set up side by side, and I have multiple instruments in the room in case a student comes in and wants to try guitar or piano. If they don't already own an instrument, you can still get the lesson that way. I and mean, that's also true for a ukulele in my case. So you you want to have everything you need set up in the room, get your chairs set up, get speakers, and be ready for some students when you get the phone call. If you don't have a room available in your house that you can use for this, go to your local music store, look for a music go round or maybe a guitar center in your area, and you can rent the room by the hour there for any students that you acquire. Plus, for the rental fee, they'll have all the equipment that you need in there. If you need guitars or a piano keyboard, guitar amplifiers, they'll provide that stuff for the rental fee. I've personally done both. I taught from my home for many years, and then I also taught in a music go round. I rented their space for about $140 a month and I was able to use it for five days a week. They both work quite well. It just depends on your living situation. If you've got the space in your home that works, obviously that's cheaper. You don't have to pay for any rental expenses. But if you don't have any of that stuff, a teaching out of a music go round or a guitar center will work just fine. Number four, a business card, right? Get yourself a nice business card, print it out, you know, go to vistaprint.com. Get 500 of these cards. I even got the back side printed with the circle of fifths on there. Give the uh, give a little something back to the people who acquire these cards, right? A little education in the card itself. Pass them out everywhere. If you go to a gas station and somebody says hello to you, introduce yourself and hand them a business card. They know somebody who's got kids. They've probably got kids. These are ways you'll get students is by letting everybody know, I'm teaching, I'm teaching music lessons. If you know anybody who wants a music lesson, give me a call, check my website. Number three, get a website set up. This sounds more difficult than it is. You can go to Wix.com and they've got all kinds of templates you can use there, but you've got to get this set up with professional photos. And if you can take some video of yourself playing on your instrument, that's going to help a lot to get some customers as well. Get your phone number on there and you'll get some calls. Wix has free sites available, so you don't have to pay for this just yet. You can set up a free site on there. And this leads to the number one way of getting customers. So absolutely do this number three. It's important. Wait for number one so I can tell you how to get the customers the easiest way once you've got your website set up. This is the website I built using Wix.com and I just went through and used the Wix templates that they create for you. I didn't do any coding, any HTML coding, just some basic editing processes. So this photo collage thing that is happening here, I didn't do any of that. That was part of the template. I added a YouTube video on top of that, which is great because the prospective students can see who you are. They can see what you look like and, and hopefully see you perform on your instrument. If you have that available, that works really good. They have the option of booking online. You do have to pay for this as an additional fee, so it's not part of the free service. If you pay for this monthly, they can book online and pay for it right there, and then you can get everything set up without even having to have a phone call. They'll just do that right there. So far, I've told you ways of how to do in-person lessons. Now, for some of you, that may not work very well. Maybe your home situation is not going to work for bringing students in. Maybe you don't live near a music store, or maybe there's nothing nearby that you can rent, no space for that. So the option you have is number two, download the Zoom app and install it on a computer or on a tablet and do all lessons online with people. Since the pandemic, a lot of students have gotten really comfortable with doing online lessons. So I personally do both now. I do in-person lessons and online lessons. And that's the best of both worlds because that way if you meet somebody out in public, you can get that set up with a lesson to somebody you know, some family members. Um, and then if you meet somebody online through social media, you can do lessons with somebody who lives far away from you as well. The Zoom app works the best in my experience because they have what's called professional audio settings. And that allows the sound to go back and forth uh, between each other without having uh, noise suppression and things like this that some of the other apps use. So this works really good and it's working quite well for me currently. I'm not gonna do an in-depth tutorial on how to set up Zoom, but there's just the main setting I do wanna show you here in the settings section. We go to the audio. And then you can scroll down and you'll see this section for music and professional audio. Show in meeting option to enable original sound. That's the most important part of the settings uh, that I wanted to mention that'll allow the noise suppression to be turned off. This works quite well for music lessons to be able to hear each other back and forth at the same time. And the number one way to get private music students, drum roll please. 
get your lesson address listed on Google Maps. There's a bit of a process involved in this and they'll send you a piece of mail that takes a couple of weeks to get, I believe. It's been a while since I've done this. Once you get this mail, you have to go and add the verification code into the Google Maps setting. But once you're set up, this is amazing because as soon as somebody's on Google Maps looking for music lessons and they're typing your zip code in if you live in the same area as they do and they see you pop up on the top of that listing as somebody who's providing music lessons, you're gonna get the call and that's gonna give you plenty of business. Um, so this is really the, the top thing, the number one thing you have to do. And that's why I mentioned the website is so important. You gotta get the website set up so that when they click on you on Google Maps, they can go to your website and see what you do, see what you're offering, how much it costs, and then you'll get a call and, uh, and set up the lesson. When you're ready to get your lesson address set up and verified through Google, just go in and type into Google how to verify your business on Google, and then click on the Get Started link, and that'll walk you through the entire process. And if you'd like to get my help personally, I provide business coaching lessons online through my website at kjzmusic.com. Click the Book Online tab. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in the next video.